Greetings, community members, colleagues, Board of Trustees, Superintendent Davis, Cabinet, faculty, staff, and especially the families and friends of the guests of the resilient and exceptional graduates of the class of 2020. My name is Dr. Benicia Carr, the proud principal of Glenview High School and 21st Century Learning Institute. It is an honor to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020. In the accumulating event of their 13 years of hard work and dedication. Both Glenview High School and 21st Century Learning Institute are alternative education programs that meet the needs of students in oftentimes unique situations whom, with the support from their parents and guardians, seek an alternative to our comprehensive schools. Our alternative education program is composed of two very different and distinct schools. Our 21st century students work countless hours from home online where students graduate with the same credit requirements as the comprehensive high school. These students are self-motivated, self-disciplined, young adults who tend to be highly organized with college level study skills. Our other alternative school within Beaumont Unified is Glenview High School. Glenview is recognized as a California model continuation high school. This is where students come to recover credits for various reasons. Our Glenview students focus on their core academic classes while also working countless hours doing credit recovery online. Students from both schools have demonstrated an abundant amount of grit and resiliency to graduate. They have endured and faced countless obstacles during these unprecedented times. I cannot express how proud I am of each and every one of them. Our graduates continue to strive and achieve their aspirations of going to college, attending career technical schools, joining the military, and pursuing careers which will make a positive impact to our local community, nation, and even on a global scale in years to come. Graduates, I'm sure you all can remember something a teacher, counselor, staff member said to you during your time in high school. And there will be a lot of advice given to you as you begin life. The majority of our advice to you concerns choices. As you enter adulthood, my desire is that you take the lessons learned in and out of the classroom to help you achieve your goals as you continue on your path to success. If you don't remember anything else said to you, please remember this. As adults, we create the world we live in, in and shape our own environments. Life is not always going to be perfect. Our trials, sorrows, and failures shape us as we journey along this path called life. Set goals and make efforts to achieve them. When things don't go exactly as planned, pick yourself up, evaluate, and keep pursuing. Class of 2020, please hear and believe that you matter. No matter who you are, where you come from, your current financial or living situation, your life will be the result of the choices you make from this day on. Graduates, what will you choose to do with the gift of life you've been given and education attained here? Go forth and leave a positive mark on the world. No matter what you choose to do, do it with all of your might, leaving no room for regret. In closing, do not be discouraged or give up when life gets tough. Continue to make good choices. Be mindful of the words you speak and the actions you take. How you handle the challenges of life will determine your success and most of all, your happiness in life. Go forth and change the world, class of 2020. Good morning, welcome all family, friends, board of, of trustees, Superintendent Davis, Principal Dr. Carr, teachers, staff members, and most of all, the distinguished Bull class of 2020. I'm Julian Anguiano, 21st Century Learning Institute Salutorian, and I'm honored to be standing here in front of you all to commemorate the hard work and accomplishments of our great class. First, congratulations to the graduates and our families who are here celebrating us today. Your families and friends are here to cheer you on to the next steps which are coming fast. We stand here today on our precipice of our future 
it's not as a distant reality anymore, but it begins here, it begins today. We began high school as young children, but leaving here as educated adults. We have completed our basic educations that serve as a platform to launch us onto our futures. Some of us will go on to college or a vocational school, others will go straight into the workforce, but each of us will travel our own paths. No matter where we go or what we do, there's gonna be challenges ahead of us. What I'm asking each of you and for myself is to meet those challenges straight on and with our heads held high and our hearts wide open. It's not enough to simply try to get by in life. This will not move the world forward, but we will try to excel in everything we do. We must strive for excellence and in everyday tasks, large or small. Although it may not be easy to see every accomplishment achieved in addition to the world's accomplishment. Your individual success benefits society as a whole because when you succeed, you are in the position to give rather than to take. Imagine if every individual lived to his or her full potential. Think how amazing the impact on the world would be, how much better off the world would be. Well, we may not have the power to inspire the whole world, but we have the power to try to achieve it for ourselves and strive for success. My challenge to each of you and to myself is to do what we can to reach our full potential. If all of the graduating class of 2020 is able to strive for success, imagine the effect that we could have on the world. The future is truly in our hands, so let's make the most of the life that we've been given. One last note, I hope you learn how to be proud of the person you have become, and I hope you learn to be proud of yourself and where you are right now, even if it's not exactly where you, you want it to be. Life has curves and bends that will lead you into a journey of compassion, acceptance, and teach you how to fall in love with the process. The messiness of life and the confusion of it all is all worth it. At the end of the day, I hope you find what you're looking for and there's a big world that's waiting for us to explore it. I hope your life inspires you and others. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. This is the last big step for high school and the next big step into adulthood. Thank you for your time and allowing me to give this speech. Hello, family, friends, Board of Trustees, Superintendent Davis, Principal Dr. Carr, teachers, staff members, and the Class of 2020 graduates. I'm Brittany Corral, valedictorian for Glenview High School and representative for the Class of 2020. Now I prepared a little speech as a final farewell for all of you graduates and to all the staff at school. We may not have the typical graduation ceremony that we have been all looking forward to. We may not be able to walk down the stage with friends and family cheering us on. Despite all the odds like global warming, school shootings, and this pandemic, we're still graduating and going on strong. Not even a virus can stop us. We've been through it all and we're finally done. After all those years of hard work and a quarantine, we made it. We also gained new bragging rights to tell our future children, grandchildren, and maybe even great-grandchildren. We're going down the history books for sure. We are now done with this chapter in our lives and start anew. Now on behalf of the class of 2020, I just wanna take a moment to thank not only the seniors for pushing through these hard times, but to all the teachers, staff, and our principal for working nonstop to make sure each and every one of us were able to graduate today. We thank you. You helped us, you guided us, you supported us, and you challenged us to try our best. We thank you. I remember being told that when we leave, we leave behind a legacy. I started to think about, well, what kind of legacy will we be leaving behind? As Jim Ron once said, all good men and women must take responsibility to create legacies that will take the next generation to a level we could only imagine. When I think of the class of 2020, I start to envision these young, outspoken, and brave individuals who share the same voice and think with the same mind. Never have I imagined that us as a group would even have a say in what we do or who we can be. Our voices could not have been more clear. That is our legacy. At such a young age, we were able to make so much change in the world, in our cities, our communities, our schools, and our homes. We will continue making change as we learn from the generation before us and inspire the generation after us. We will all be taking a step out into a new world, and we will struggle. I won't sugarcoat it for you, but there will be days where we will make mistakes, fall down again and again, and cry out in frustration and anger. But it's not like you haven't done this before. When we first came into this world, we knew nothing. We didn't know how to talk, how to read, how to write, but look at us now. We are now masters of all three and have even gone above and beyond with them. Some of us can speak more than one language. Some of us can read until we fall dead asleep. 
Some of us can write using correct grammar and punctuation, while the rest of us struggle trying to understand when is the perfect time to use a colon. I want to give one last thank you to all the families and friends who helped us stay in school. Without them, our journey here would have been twice as difficult. If you want to impress anyone and make anyone proud, it should be for your loved ones. They worked just as hard and sacrificed just as much for you to reach this point, so thank you. Take in this final moment because after this, we will no longer be high school students. After this, we'll be following our own separate paths, doing different jobs and pursuing different careers. Remember that all of your years in high school, from kindergarten to grade 12, was to prepare you for your new chapter after graduation. Congratulations, class of 2020, and good luck on your new beginning. Class of 2020, we are so proud of your accomplishments. You are strong, resilient, and in my deepest recognition that I thank you for your perseverance to complete your senior year with great success. You did it. I certify that all of these Glenview High School and 21st Century Learning Institute high school students have met all of the graduation requirements of the state of California and the Board of Trustees policies of the Beaumont Unified School District. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the Beaumont Unified School District, I accept the Glenview High School and 21st Century Learning Institute High School graduation class of 2020. Congratulations. Elizabeth Juhaz. Alexis Davis. Celis Tucker. Dory Sage Brenda Ureno Luis Pitta Jesse Lindahl. Narayana Almanza. Antonio Lara. Bailey Salyer Bean. Timothy Verkaik. Mackenzie Ferrier. Sebastian Montez.
Daniel Caez. Aaron Ortiz Casas. Zachary Miller. Isaac Heise. Julian Anguiano. Dominic Allen. Jacob Montiel. Jeremiah Cottage. Grace Gillespie. Liliana Salcedo. Shannon Guido. Isabella Mejia. Matthias Koenig. Christopher Gomez. Brian Cairns. Callie Riddell. Julian Ruiz. Elijah Benson. Kalia Andrews. Nathan Delora. Daniel Contreras. Aaron Roa. Isabel Siemens. Jamar Davis. Nathan Andrade.
Steven Hilario. Michaela DeForge. Maria Seidner. Christian Castro Aragon. Mariah Irby Smith. Mali de los Santos. Luis Jasso. Andrew Alvarez. Aliyah Meyer. Brian Munoz. Alexis Diaz. Jose Rodriguez. Alex Pineda. Alia Chalico Talia Williams Kimani Walsh. James Brett. Zoe Hardin. Andrew Ariano. Alyssa Flores. Paul Lopez. 